Hey yeah, together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back! And welcome all of you to another part of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The world of life. So, we are here. You know what that means. Skill tree, run on. We're gonna... We have a good bit of... Uh, skill points, not spirit points. What exactly was it I was going for? Oh, air attack up. Yes, please. That was it. 40. What would I have here? Neutral attack up. Maybe. Improved escape. Landing lag. Defense up and healthy. You know what? Oh, you know what? Overall, that sounds like a good thing to have. And then special move power. Um, I can buy one more, it looks like, yeah. So either improved escape or landing lag. That's not so necessary in my opinion, so let's go with the landing lag. And now I'm gonna save up so that we can the special move power up next time. So that we have that out of the way. So we're playing as the Ice Climbers today and we're gonna deal here with MegaMan.exe. I know that I hate this fight. We have a sap floor. You're good and I get immunity. Let's see if I can do this with the ice claimers. My old main fighters. So the electric floor resistance is good. My problem with the Ice Claimers really is that they are so short now, because they used to be, I think at least, a tiny bit bigger, but they are not anymore. That makes it a little bit confusing to me when I make my up smash like that, and I want to hit someone in the air. But that's mostly because of the way I used to play them. Come on. I freaking... this you for using the fire flower at all go away some more reinforcements more Mega Man but I'm also a two player here so I don't care too much is that a beam sword go I don't need to worry about you because I have my beam sword now it makes me stronger and also smash attack seal me so why even worry at all I love the fact that I have two characters basically smashing there at the same time. Go away. And the poison is so beautiful. Go! Leave this realm. Nobody needs you. It was easier than I thought. But he is a legend, so... It should have been a bit more tougher, but I think I did a good choice there with the Ice Climbers. So, our fight with the Ice Claimers, however, will be only short because we get Rosalina and Luma now. Shooting attacks, sure, the Ice Claimers, and their shooting powers. Ready, go. And here we are, whoops. Nice dodge there, Rosalina. It's interesting that we go from uh, one double team fighter to another double team fighter here. You are a real frustrating piece of work here right now. You know that Rosalina? I hate you so freaking much at the moment. So, could you potentially, you know, not? There's this difference with some of the fighters are so stinking simple to fight against. And others are just like the most frustrating things you will ever see. Rosalina sure is one of the frustrating ones. Here, take that. And you know, since I'm a thrower of weapons, let's, let's use the boomerang here. Throw that. And it's gone. Stop it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a... I'm a tad bit uh, concentrated here at the moment because... Did you just reflect that, you stupid... No! No, I say! Frustrating! <sighs> but now we can play as Rosalina. <laughs> She's annoying. She really is annoying. So, and with that we have dealt with 
the one uh, planet that was outside here. So let's move on. I hope. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Let's move up here because we want to go to the next location. Karada Cho, you're going to be the first one to fight against Rosalina. Yeah, and ah uh, yeah, I remember that you are a, ta a tad bit annoying. <sighs> you already are not my favorite. I remember that you were some sort of a painful character to fight against. But I mean, whatever. And ah, uh, such a shame. My Luma did not attack here. Numa, come up here. I need you. I don't know for what. I need you exactly, but can't be a bad thing to have you out there as well. <laughs> Go out there, Rio. Seriously. That's not what I wanted to do there, game, but thank you for giving me a box when I didn't need to. Ah, such a. There you go. Shoot it out. Frustrating little guy. Not as annoying as Rosalina was, but still frustrating. <sighs> yeah, I forgot about you, Karate Cho. Now we can move on this uh, here outside this again the teleporter back, but we want to go inside here. Welcome to the mysterious dimension. It's such a weird thing. Who among these spirits can float in the air? I'm only gonna go with the correct ones. So, purple Pikmin, not really the floaty ones. Yellow Pikmin, never really floating. And the wing Pikmin, yes, they are the floaty ones. And I'm gonna make my way towards the end here because this is the big gimmick in this area. But we're gonna try and find some fighters that are hidden in here as well. And boom! Now, my Luma is in a different spot than I am, so that means I have more ground that I can cover with my attacks, which makes this a little bit easier. But again, it's a fight against Pikmin, so they are never really a big problem. They are just timed, which makes them a little bit frustrating, but overall... Goodbye! Hey! Gotcha! I thought I was too low, but I was high enough for that. Yeah, but the fight against the Pikmin, not really difficult, ever. Um. And fighting against the others, by the way, doesn't do anything here. You just get a wrong sound and that's it. You don't unlock anything with them. You don't get more fighters. So it's not necessary to fight against them. They are just a distraction more than anything. So I'm gonna try to go for the ones that I know hide something. But the rest I'm gonna more or less ignore so that we get m moving. Great auto heal? Yeah, why not? It's somewhat funny to see that we have to fight against Ryu just now, yet again, seeing that we just recently fought against him. Oh, you killed my Luma Li Luma Bob! Who will open up the Luma shop now? But not my little Luma Li Luma Bob. So no, not okay. But I have a great auto heal, so we're doing, doing just fine. Whoops. Take that. And come on. You're such a frustrating little bugger. Stop it, Po. Poo. Whatever. Go. You are. Sorry, I was quiet there for a moment, but I was, I was really frustrated at his dodging around. You dodgy little bastard, Po. Don't remember that you dodged so much when I played Mother. 
Perfect, moving on. I love how decrepit all of the places here look. And we get spirit points. Again, something that we don't really use. I want to take a look over here first. I don't remember which way was something of interest, but... Which spirit usually sells furniture? Mo... Mo... Shop owner or red? Um, I don't remember. Red? That that one I honest to god don't remember. I haven't played Animal Crossing enough to know what red sells. I'm sorry. Ready? Go. And. There you go, Foxy boy. That sounds so wrong. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I take it. That went better than expected. Ha! Got it! That was a good guess there. Well, since in Animal Crossing, basically everyone somewhat sells uh, furniture. No spirit points! What are you? You're Boss Galaga. I just read about you, so let's fight you. And then, then we will get the other fighter. So that we have more time with... What am I doing? More time with Rosalina. So, enemies are easily distracted by items. There's a good thing with Rosalina that you actually can pull items towards yourself with B down. Oh god, I got pulled in. Don't care about that, however. I'm doing good here at the moment without Boss Galaga. But, I mean, having him would be a nice little extra boon for me. Oops. So that I don't need to deal with all of them on my own. But, I I mean, I can deal without. Hey. You're a little bit frustrating, ain't ya? Oh, that is actually my boss Galaga here. And goodbye. Ah, such a shame you survived that. But not long enough. That went swimmingly. I like it. You can actually, if you have the items, always gravitate towards yourself. Grab all the boss characters and throw them at then and have the fight go easier. That way you don't need to fight yourself. But, I mean, they're not difficult. So, and here we have Rob and we're gonna fight against him and get him in the next episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And hope to see all of you in the next part of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So bye!